I have not been laying out in the sun. This is just what happens when you use too much bronzer. Okay. <laughs> Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Kirielle and today I just really wanted to sit down and talk about some new makeup that's caught my eye, what's on my release radar. Because even though the world has slowed down a little bit, there are still some releases out there that are tempting me. And because I'm in the house all day in quarantine, uh, the temptation is getting worse as the days go by. Um, <laughs> so yeah, to get this off my chest and to get it out in the air so I don't actually spend my money, although I'm not making my bank account any promises, um, <laughs> I just thought we'd just talk about it, go through some new releases, that I'm interested in and that I may spend and splurge on. Before we do go any further, if you're new to my channel, if you like makeup, what else do I do on this channel? I don't even know. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Um, if you like makeup, hit subscribe. <laughs> All you need to do is hit the red button down below and the bell button and that'll just notify you when I upload, which is a lot more frequent now we're all inside. <laughs> but yeah, without further ado, let's get into my list and talk about all the fun, glittery looking things. I'm gonna be referencing pretty much all of Trend Mood's page <laughs> just because she posts about everything upcoming, obviously. And if you don't know about Trend Mood, follow them on Instagram. Basically, they get all the sneak peeks and then they post about them and they just let us know what's kind of coming out in the future, which I really appreciate. And it is a dangerous game, okay? It just is. <laughs> Let's start off with skincare because there's a few things that I've seen that I'm really interested in. First one being by Fasali and it's the Quench Moisture Replenishing Serum. And it just looks so visually pleasing. <laughs> I mean, let's face it, a lot of this is going to be off visual because I'm just looking at pictures. <laughs> but it just looks like a moisturizing serum. The actual bottle and everything looks beautiful. And it's going to be enriched with hyaluronic acid and a few other things that are good for your skin, which, you know, I won't say no to. If they sent it my way, they're not going to, but <laughs> that's one of the things that I'm tempted by. But I just know for a fact that that's going to be an astronomical price just because it is Fasali. So I probably won't end up buying that one but it does look very tempting. <laughs> Fresh have released a new rose deep hydration oil infused serum which looks so pretty and definitely something I would want to get on. It's supposed to balance hydration and nourishment in your skin. Fresh in general again is a brand that I'd really love to try because all of this stuff seems to be really good and I haven't heard one bad thing about Fresh as a brand and any of their products so I'd really be interested to try something. Glow Recipe have just released a new set. It's called the Hydrate Smooth and Soothe Trio. Does that not sound great? I mean to me it sounds great. <laughs> Inside it's got a banana souffle moisturizing cream, watermelon glow sleeping mask and then the watermelon glow ultra fine mist. I've tried the moisturizer from the watermelon glow range and it was okay. I mean, it was just a gel based water cream moisturizer. So I felt like it was a little bit overhyped, but I did enjoy the product. So that is why this is on the list. I've always wanted to try the mist and also the sleeping mask, a mask that's supposed to help smooth your skin overnight. And then another spray that's packed with hyaluronic acid. With Glow Recipe though, is always their products look so visually appealing. And that is what draws me in. The pink packaging, it will draw me in. <laughs> But again, they're so expensive. The price tag is always up there. Like this is $45. Um, I'm not sure what that will transfer over to the UK. I'm imagining it's probably gonna sell for about 45 pounds. And that is just so much. I know it's not that much in terms of skincare, but for me, I still think it is a lot. <laughs> Another thing I'm really interested in trying is by, I think it's Laneige. I think that's how you say it. I'm not 100% sure. Never tried anything by them before, but this, this serum looks so beautiful. <laughs> it's the Glowy Face Serum. Again, it looks like something I'd want to display. It's clear with like these pink flecks throughout it. It looks absolutely beautiful. It's just supposed to be a lightweight hydrating serum, which is supposed to keep your oils in check. Um, sign me up, please. <laughs> it's supposed to make your skin visually smoother and your makeup lasts longer. So it's like a serum and makeup primer combined, honestly so tempted with this one. It's $32. I don't know how much it would be in the UK and I don't know if we can even get it in the UK. That's a good question. <laughs> if we can, I'll put it by here. Brand that I really want to try some of their skincare bits and pieces. It's Ole Henriksen. I think that's 
how you say it. They have the vitamin C line that I just really want to try. I know they've got like a brightening primer, but then also just they've got a lot of skincare. And I'm really intrigued. Jamie Genevieve always posts about them. I don't know if she's always sponsored. I don't think she is. But she talks about them a lot and her skin is really good. So that's a brand I would really like to explore more, just generally. Also Smashbox have released a vitamin glow primer, which I believe is infused with vitamin C as well. And that just looks really juicy and like I really want to try it. <laughs> Honestly, I think you could just sell me something if it looks yummy and appealing. <laughs> and the perfect demographic. Okay, I just get sucked into things that look tasty. <laughs> Ooh, Too Faced have released a new primer, which is the Primed and Poreless Primer. Too Faced stuff doesn't usually jump out to me anymore. In all honesty, I find a lot of their stuff kind of dull looking. <laughs> Like their palettes and stuff just don't really excite me. But this, the Primed and Poreless Primer, it is intriguing me. I'm imagining it's going to be a kind of professional kind of situation. They also have a face powder, but I just really want the primer. That's what's interesting me the most. Colourpop have released like a load of sponges that I really want to try. Again, they look pretty and pastel. And I've never tried anything from Colourpop. I really want to do like a big on there one day but it's obviously coming from a different country over here and I don't want to make a big order right now <laughs> but one day I do really want to try like a full face of Colourpop. They've done so many Disney collections that I wanted to hop on you don't even understand. I just never took the plunge okay. But speaking about Colourpop Disney collections the new Mulan one I really want to try a few bits and pieces from there like the face milk and also the lip mask. The eyeshadow palette wasn't so much on my wavelength. The blushes were however they were beautiful colours Plus Colourpop come out with a palette like every 10 minutes. <laughs> they come out with a lot of stuff so I always know there's going to be something new to try. Ofra has released a new collab with an influencer. It's March Beauty Wood. I'm not quite sure who that is. I don't follow her or anything. But the blush that they've come out with the dual tone blush. Oh my gosh. It's a beautiful peachy tone and then it's got a nice mauve kind of highlighter next to it which looks beautiful. I wouldn't be able to use that on my skin. But the blush colour looks insane. Yeah, as soon as I saw that, I really wanted just the blush. <laughs> Ooh, speaking about blush, Fenty is bringing out their cream blushes and bronzers. And as you guys saw in my last video, I kind of dipped my toe in the cream blush world and I really want to try some more. So the fact that Fenty are bringing out a cream bronzer and blush, I really... Really am tempted to buy both of those, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Another bronzer release that I'm actually I'm really excited about, I sorry I didn't mean to get all up in your face there, um, <laughs> is one by NARS. They're bringing out another bronzer collection, which actually holds a bronzer that is pale enough for me. I've tried looking at the bronzers before because you know everyone used to talk about Laguna and how that was like the best bronzer, but if I were to put that on my skin, it would be game over for me. So I was so excited to see that they're bringing out different shades of bronzer because I really want to try some bronzers from NARS. Also Charlotte Tilbury's the highlight and contouring wands and things. I really want to try one. <laughs> they just look so easy and the colours look really nice. They've released two new shades which I don't think I'd be able to use either. Potentially maybe one but it's part of the new Pillow Talk range. Moving on to highlighters. We've got quite a few in this category. <laughs> Anastasia Beverly Hills brought back the Nicole Guerrero collaboration that they did and I really wanted that palette when it first released and I still kind of want it now but I realized that I'll probably only be able to use one of the shades. She is more of a medium skin tone and I am pasty so I would only be able to use literally one which would be the forever lit shade which is basically white. <laughs> so I don't really want to go spend them on as a like 40 six pounds or something on a palette that I personally can't use. This would be something that if I was doing makeup on other people I'd probably buy just because I'd have shade variation then but I can't, I can't just buy it for myself unfortunately but it is so pretty. Zoeva have brought out a collection of highlighters which look so nice and also they've got a concealer which I want to try because I love the foundation. I did a review on it here for you guys. It'll be linked in the eye over here if you want to check it out but the highlight that they've released it looks so visually appealing and also just looks smooth and pretty but the shades I don't have one that I could use I really want to use you alas you haven't catered for me so I can't Dominique Cosmetics mm. a brand that I get kind of tempted with but not enough to actually purchase anything I bought one gloss and to be honest it was nothing to write home about sorry if that comes across shady I don't mean to be well kind of um <laughs> but it's just the truth it's, I don't know. It just wasn't worth the extra money I spent on it. However, 
they are bringing out, I think it's called Skin Glass. Yeah, it's called Skin Glass and they've got one shade called Golden Dew, which looks so insanely pretty and looks like it would suit my skin tone. And they look so, like, just smooth. They've got swatches and they look just so nice. I'm imagining it's gonna be kinda of like a balmy kind of texture. Again, this is all just speculation. <laughs> I look it from the images, but it looks so pretty and I really want it. <laughs> I believe they're available on Beauty Bay if you wanted to purchase Dominique Cosmetics. Again, they always verge on the pricey side. I don't know how much these are going to be each. Probably, I imagine like £30 maybe or more. They look very tempting. <laughs> Eyeshadow palettes. Okay, all of Huda Beauty's mini pastel palettes. I just want them all. <laughs> I know there's like a trend, but generally I love pastel colours. Even if you don't wear them like all over the lid or anything like that, they're so good to have on hands for even blending colours. They're £27 each for the mini ones. Lilac, Rose and Mint. And I kind of want all of them. <laughs> the only thing is, is I kind of have a bit of a hard time with Huda's metallic formula usually. So I'd only really be buying it for the mattes and I don't want to do that. <laughs> Here's a brand I never thought I'd be interested in, Sugar Pill. I don't know why, I never thought that, but they just didn't really entice me in. But they've brought out a new palette, and again, it's got those kind of pastely colours in it, but also a few vibrant shades. And also, I just love the way it looks. Like, the packaging on this thing is so cute, and the look that they've shown on the model and everything is really pretty. I just think it's such a different kind of packaging, and again, that will pull me in. <laughs> I'm every advertiser's dream. <laughs> Speaking of packaging, I only want this because of it. A brand called Solar Look that I've never heard of, never bought anything from, has released a Charmed palette. If you didn't know this about me, I'm a Charmed fan. Like, watch all of the seasons back to back over so many times, and that is so many hours of my life. <laughs> Like literally there's like eight seasons with like, I don't know, like 20 episodes and they're all 45 minutes long. Like it's like ridiculous, but I've done it multiple times. <laughs> and by the way, this is the OG, not the new crap that they put out. No shade, but 100% shade. Um, <laughs> but they've made a palette. They've made it in the shape of the power of three symbol and I just want it. <laughs> It's got their faces in there. I don't really want it for the colours, I just purely want it for the fact that it's charmed. That's literally it. And I have no shame. <laughs> Makeup revolution. You know, I thought I was kind of over it. I really did because they were bringing out too many collabs. They were just bringing out so much stuff left, right and centre. And I just kind of took a back seat with Makeup Revolution because it was like... They are bringing out too much stuff, like, all the time. Every now and again, I'd see a few things that maybe interested me, but not enough to where I'd purchase. And, you know, they're so affordable that I usually would. But they have brought me back in with this, okay? <laughs> again, purely because of the packaging. They've brought out some new quad eyeshadow palettes. And, oh my gosh. There's one which is, like, rose quartz. And there's also, like, a nudie one that I want. They are just so beautiful the packaging they've got like these gemstones the pearls on them and these are more expensive for the amount of eyeshadows you get in them so they're 10 pounds i'm gonna assume the quality is gonna be good obviously i don't know uh i don't know the palettes they just look so beautiful the temptation to buy those is very much there <laughs> and they've also brought out a bronzer and just a all over pressed setting powder a rose highlighter which looks so pretty. Fairer shade is a bit more of the pink side than what I would personally prefer, but just the actual packaging and everything looks so pretty and so reminiscent of a Smashbox collab that they did a few years ago. I can't remember who it was with, but that was with an influencer. So the Impress looks very similar to that. It's their Revolution Pro line, so it's slightly different to the normal line, but yeah. I really want to try some new Revolution Pro stuff. God damn, Make Revolution really me in with the packaging. I mean, they did it. They did it. Oh, another palette, which I so want to splurge on, but I cannot justify it, is the Natasha Denona Love palette. Oh my gosh, that is such a beautiful looking palette. I mean, look at it. Look at it. It is so pretty. If I was to get a Natasha Denona palette, that would be one of the ones, and also the Sunrise palette. I'd really love that one as well. They've also brought out a few minis, which I'm falling in love with. <laughs> the mini retro eyeshadow palette. Just, I really want to try some Natasha Denona, but it's so expensive and I really can't justify 
buy in the 60 pound palette like it's just so much fun eyeshadow palette when I've got so much already but yeah they are beautiful looking palettes and so tempting to buy them like so tempted I know the love palette is an older release but still I really want it <laughs> <laughs> Another older release that I really, really want to get my hands on is by Melt Cosmetics and it's their Millennial Pinks palette. I've got one of their stacks, I think it's the Love Struck stack that they brought out ages well, years ago. <laughs> and the formula is really nice but it's just not one that I go to grab for. But this is such a nice looking palette and it looks well balanced like you've got dusty pinks but then you also have some deep colors that you can play with as well that would be something i'd like to get my hands on i mean i'd like to get my hands on all of the makeup but that is the list that i have all done and dusted okay we've made it through there's a lot of things that i want a lot of things i can't have um <laughs> but i just thought i'd do a quick video and create a discussion let me know what you really want to buy what's on your wish list in the comments down below i am thinking about doing a video on products that i don't want to buy and kind of like an anti-haul as well so thumbs up the video if you'd want one of those because there are a lot of products that are being released that i'm just like Eh, really ain't floating my boat so I'd be totally down for doing that video as well but yeah that is it from me I hope you're having a nice day I hope you subscribe if you want to all you need to do is hit the red button down below and the bell button and that'll just notify you when I upload next but I hope I see you on the next one till then bye guys where is my wants folder well I'm not making my bag it those necklaces <laughs> I mean a lot of the I mean let's face a bit I'm that perfect sucker I guess Too Faced stuff doesn't you